Boker Tov, Yom Tov, Zarim Tovim, and Laili Tov. Good morning, good day, good afternoon, and good evening, no matter where you are at. This is Carrie, and I wanted to share something that I think is pretty exciting. On next week, Wednesday, September 1st, at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, we will be doing a global, well, I say global, uh, for those who want to participate from the globe, wherever you're at, we are going to be doing a meditation through the spirit of gratitude. We will be using the phrase Toda Raba and speaking that and declaring that not only over ourselves in and through us, through our heart, but so that we can help and bring that as a reality and put it into the environment where we live, where we reside, our countries, and then hopefully we will be connecting at the heart level as we usher this in. This meditation will be for 11 minutes long. We will be gathering at 11 Eastern Standard Time. The meditation will start at 11 minutes after and will complete at 22 minutes after the hour. So we'll be meditating through the phrase Toda Raba for 11 minutes. So if you've been around a while with Ken and I in our sharing, you will know how important the number 22 is as that is the exact number of the letters of the Hebrew Aramaic language, 22. And as we start at one Aleph and 22 being the completion, we have the Aleph and the Tav, the beginning, the end, the first and the last, the strength of the covenant, the covenant of fire that ignites our hearts through a spirit of gratitude. I did wanna share with you that the nine, as we know, is a gestation period. And so we're going to be starting out in this ninth month with a gestation of the gratitude that comes from the heart. Nine is also the Hebrew letter Tet, which is a very profound letter because it represents struggle. So if you take a look and see what everything that has been going on in our outside world, the struggle that we've been having, the separation and the division, we are going in and interceding in meditation through thought creating a reality to birth forth a spirit of gratitude i think that's amazing having it be on the first day this is a representation of the aleph and the aleph is a beautiful letter in that it represents two visions one from above one from a below that is then connected in the center with man because as a conduit in receiving these heavenly energies, these spirits, uh, spirit energies that come through us, we are like the grounding rod, Lara, the grounding rod that brings that forth and anchors it, bringing both visions of it together. So if you want to think of it as the vision of God, the higher vision, with the vision of man and uniting the two into oneness unity, no longer divided, no longer separated, but coming together as one spiritual path for humanity. It is also a letter that represents the spirit breath. It is a letter that represents the Ruach HaKodesh, which would be the Holy Spirit, as you know it in English. It is also the representation of God. When we spell that, Aleph Lamed Pei, in its constituent letters, we have the strong leaders who have the staff of authority that bring forth the mouth that speaks revelation. It's pretty amazing to see. There's so much more I could speak about, but I don't wanna lose you on all of that. When we add all the numbers together and we do through reduction math, we get the number five. The number five is connected to the Hebrew letter He. Now He, in through its constituent letters can be spelled with two He's or a He Aleph. So these would be the twin revelations that come together to form the oneness unity by the expression of the Aleph. And it truly is the spirit breath, the exhale and the inhale, as that which we are speaking and are doing through the spirit is revelatory in nature to bring forth the oneness unity, to be one with one another, to be one with all of creation, to be one with God. And we know this and we can compare this to even some of the writings in English in John chapter 17, where Yeshua even says that he and the Father are one, and paraphrasing that he would wish that we would know that we are not only just one with each other, but we are one with the Father, as well as the sons and daughters, as coming together as brothers and sisters who become the mothers and fathers. 
This is all about frequency. This is about declaring our intention, coming together through our creator abilities and making things this manifest. So please set your calendars and let's do this together as we take our creator ability and make this happen so that we can experience the heart of gratitude within and then express it outwardly, manifesting it through our intention, through our creator abilities, and let's change the world. One person at a time, one meditation at a time, through a spirit of gratitude. Shalom, shalom, and namaste.